What's good YouTube, it's Ty and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, if you enjoy videos and self-help, becoming the best version, dating advice and more, be sure to hit the subscribe button, your help will be very appreciated. Now I'm going to hit you guys with another video, two in one day. Um, you know, like I said, I'll try to do at least three videos a week. I'm going to start doing more of the reaction sort of videos as well. Um, just bear with me, you know, life right now. You know, 2020 is a, a mad year, you know. <laughs> but anyway, the reason why I wanted to make this video is to sort of state or say you have to be very careful of people. 2020 is very, it's an interesting year. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of realisation that's going on. I've even made a video about, you know, people really realizing a lot of things in 2020 i don't know what it is but a lot of things are becoming clearer to a lot of people myself i spoke to other people and they're like yeah i don't know what it is but it's like people are revealing their true colors and intentions and you know and some people are very good at hiding it um there's probably a very very small percentage of people that want to see you win in life whether that's friends, family, colleagues, whatever. And you have to be very careful with who you put your trust in. Now, a lot of people pretend to have your best interests, but they don't. There's only a small percentage of people that when they're celebrating you, they're celebrating you for real. Not celebrating you in a fake way and then when your back's turned they're talking about you that's not that's not real to me what you gotta realize in life is that there's a very small percentage of people that actually really care for you and for your success and your well-being um it's, it's very hard to break down who's who who's the snake who's the fake sometimes it's very obvious and sometimes it's not I say you guys have to try and be as strategic as possible. As bad as that sounds, that's the reality of it. Like, you have to literally just live for yourself. You have to be really beware of the snakes and the fakes, you know. Because a lot of people will present this sort of, you know, congratulations type of attitude towards you yeah oh you're doing well blah 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 nah they're just thinking of the next move to destroy you and funny enough some people actually help you but they want to destroy you they do it in a way where they're probably planning certain things or they think that you know okay let me help him for a little bit and then you know strategically kind of do something that's how some people are that's just the way it is you know they're they're always planning to one-up you and for me this is what i'm saying and i've said it before the only competition is myself i don't give a damn what anyone else is doing i'm not in competition with anyone else you know why because they're in their own journey they're doing their own thing me, I am doing my own thing. Even if we're doing the same thing, I don't see it as a competition. I see it as inspiration. Because I'm like, oh, wow, like this person's done this. That's cool. I'll try that out and see how it goes. And I could probably try and try and try. And maybe it doesn't work so well for me. Maybe I'm stronger in another area. But people that see things as competition all the time, you have to be very wary of them. You know, whether that's friends, family members. I've had it from all angles. Friends, family, whatever. You know. And this is this is what I'm saying. It's not even a, a indirect or shot at anyone. But this is just the way that life goes. This is the way that it goes. And it's, and it's sad to say that even the people closest to you, friends and family... 
they would want to tear you, tear you down. And I'm sure you, a lot of you guys can relate to that. And it's almost like you, you know, you're probably even excited. You tell them things, you communicate with them like, hey, like, you know, I'm doing this, I'm working on this. But they, they, they hate on it. And that, that's, that's very weird to me. It's very, very weird to me. Like people that I don't even necessarily, I, I, man, just the thing, I don't really not like people, but even a few people that I'm not really a big fan of. I don't want to see them do bad. That's just me. So if you're anything like me, this is my advice to you. Be strategic. Be very, very strategic. If you're not already. Number one, learn your opponent. Learn them. See what their pattern is. And I would even say, do certain things to throw them off. Say certain things, even if it's not true. Just see how they react towards certain things in your successes. You know, and I would say that's number two. And number three, I would say, keep stuff, keep some stuff to yourself. If you're anything like me, I like to share with people that are closest to me, you know, information like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm working on this, and nope, no more. Keep that to yourself as much as you can. If you can't hold it in, write it down on a piece of paper. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Even make a damn video and put it on YouTube or something that no one's going to see. Because I share my stuff out of excitement, not to boast or shit on anyone that's just not how I roll but keep more things to yourself because what you gotta realize is that your opponent's always trying to you know figure out how to crush you indirectly or directly you know and I would even say as well if you can listen to the audiobook of um, 48 Laws of Power and in fact I need to re-listen to it as well because a lot of the stuff sounds like you're being horrible to people, but it's not. It's really not. Like, it's just that if you have to, if you want to get to a certain place in life, you're going to have to unlearn certain things and learn certain things, you know? But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll see you again. Take care. Oh, <laughs>